What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? We are live. We are blessed. Thank God for another day. Matt Garland here. NMLS number 58700, or better known as MG, the mortgage guy. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We got some breaking news alert. Fannie Mae is changing down payment requirements for two to four family, multifamily properties for primary residences only. So we're going to get into all of that today. But first and foremost, you know, I got to promote what I got to promote first and foremost. Let's get to it. House Economics, Real Estate Investors Manifesto. I might need to update this book now, y'all. This book right here, after these guideline changes, there's some things that need to be updated. We're going to talk about that too. Give that in the academy. <clears throat> so if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. Most importantly, hit that bell for notifications. Uh, and make sure you guys go to all podcast platforms and download Rants and Gems, the greatest real estate show on the planet. I don't care what nobody has to say. Okay? And if nobody's going to think you're great, I got to think I'm great myself. All right, so y'all ready for some gems? Throw some gems in the comments, please. If you are ready to hear this information, this is a game changer for all of you folks who want to buy multifamily properties. For all of you folks who want to be a landlord, this is not for the folks who don't want to be a landlord. It's not for you. It's for the folks who want to either house hack their life away and house hack their way to wealth. It's for the folks who want to deal with tenants and deal with the headaches. Okay? These are the folks who want to deal with the good, the bad, and the ugly of owning multifamily real estate. Okay? So, yesterday, oh, first of all, shout out to Tooks Productions. He FaceTimed me today. We fixed the problem. So now I can share my screen. So, shout out to Tooks. And make sure you go download his podcast as well, Street Alpha Podcast. All right, so let's let's go to let's go to let's go to what we got to go to. All right, we're not even gonna waste no time with this today. We're gonna give y'all what y'all want. Pause. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. What you are looking at right now. Let me get myself right. Can y'all see my screen clear? Type type in chat if you can see the screen the screen clear. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you, pause. A little bit bigger, so it's really all on the screen. Okay? I want to make sure you guys can see everything. And make sure you guys hit that like button, please. All right, so this was an announcement that came out yesterday. This is an official announcement from Fannie Mae. Official. As you can see, as of October 4th, 2023, actually it came out yesterday. So during the weekend of November 18th, 2023, Fannie Mae will update desktop underwriter, AKA DU version 11.1, which will include the changes described below. Unless specified below, the changes in this release will apply to DU version 11.1, loan case file submitted or resubmitted on or after the weekend of November 18th. So basically, and it's a couple changes, but it doesn't go into effect until November 18th. We're only going to focus on the LTV ratios because this is the most important thing. Okay? Now, type in chat. Do you know what LTV means? Type in chat. Please, type in chat. What does LTV stand for? Type in chat. Type in chat, what does LTV stand for? Please. I need to see that y'all paying attention. Type it in chat, please. I need to get at least 50 of those real quick. Type in chat, what does LTV mean? Thank you very much. And if you want to review the article yourself, shout out to Tanisha, our moderator. She just put it in the comments as well for you to review on your own time. So if you are a licensed realtor, please type realtor in the state that you are servicing in the comments as well. You might want to grab this. This is going to help you make some money. Now, 
to expand access to credit and provide support for affordable rental housing. Look at the language they're saying. <laughs> to expand access to credit and provide support for affordable rental housing. The maximum allowable LTV, CLTV, and HCLTV ratios for two to four unit principal residence purchase and limited cash out transactions will be updated to 95%. Major. That basically means you, you now have to put down 5% down payment. This change will not apply to high balance mortgages and loans that are manually underwritten. The table below highlights the updated LTV versions. All right. So look, here we go. So this first right here is for purchases, home ready, home style, renovation, manufacture housing, principal residence only, right? Meaning you have to live there for at least one year. A purchase, one unit is 97 for fixed rate mortgages. For adjustable rate mortgages, 95. That means you can do as low as 3% and 5% respectfully. And for two units, it's currently at an 85% or 15% down payment. And as of November 18th, we're going to 95 LTV. For three to four units, 75%, 25% down, for a primary residence with Fannie Mae. But November 18th, 5%. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a mother effing home run. This now gives competition to FHA a little bit. And I'll explain that in a little while. A little bit. A little bit. Now, for home ready, which is typically like that, uh, first time home buyer program for Fannie Mae, meaning you have income restrictions with this. It is also moved up for two to four units right here where I'm highlighting, okay, in the middle to 95%. Now, here's a big mother effing home run right here. Home style renovation, big home run. Now you can do a rehab loan on a two to four unit and put down as little as 5% down payment. Now, Brenda Wyatt, you wanna know what does it mean but not high balance? Give me a second, I'm gonna go through this, okay? I'm gonna answer that question. I think that's a very good question, but first, we have over 200 people here live. Shout out to y'all. I need all of y'all to smash that like button for me, please, okay? Smash the like button, slash, smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it. So now when we talk about house hacking, this is why this is such a huge home run. Now, usually with my 4321 strategy, I always say go FHA first when you're doing especially three to fours, because as you can see with the current guidelines, you have to put anywhere from 15 to 25 percent down payment. So FHA was ideal to start your house hack off because you FHA is 3.5% down payment. Now, this makes this a little bit of a game changer. And yes, this will have PMI, ladies and gentlemen. Any, any Fannie Mae loans above 80% LTV or less than 20% down will have PMI. So you will have PMI, but who cares? PMI is not the devil. I've had plenty of videos about this. Maybe we'll talk in a little bit more detail about that on a later show. But yes, it will have PMI, okay? This ha will have PMI. No one said nothing about this won't have PMI. Let's stay focused, y'all, okay? So look, with the 4321 strategy, like I said, I always tell you go FHA first because you got to put less down. Now, this gives that strategy a new look because as you all know, when you're out here shopping for mortgages, you know sellers and realtors, listing agents, sometimes don't want to hear that you're taking out an FHA mortgage, which to me is unfortunate because it's an amazing program, right? And it's still, and I'm going to keep it real with you, although for two to four units, they increase the loan to value, FHA 
You now want to do a, a deep comparison between the two if you are one of those folks who are looking to buy a two to four unit. First of all, do I have anybody that's watching this live on a replay right now looking to buy a two to four unit? If so, type how many units you're looking to buy for your primary residence. Is it two? Is it three? Is it four? Type it in chat right now for me. I, I want to know who's here with me right now. Right? And Joshua, thank you for your service. Uh, smart move by going VA. All my all my veterans need to go VA first, right? So we got a couple people here. They want fours. Diego, you want a four. Christian, you want a four. Okay, okay. I am Adam Grill. You want a three. Diego, four. Okay. Don Von Brown, two. Edison, four. Okay. So all of you folks who are typing this, Money Mile, three to four. All right. Allen, a four. JC, two to four. So what you need to know is when you're looking at the comparison, because now I know I'm going to get this question a lot. Matt, what's better, FHA or conventional for my multifamily? Look at a deep comparison of both because FHA still might turn out to be better because FHA does not penalize you when it comes to buying a multifamily like conventional does. And what I mean by penalize you, I mean penalize you in interest rate. See, Fannie Mae, because of LLPAs, loan level price and adjustments, if you're buying a multifamily, you get hit in the back end, pause on your rate. So your interest rate for a two to four family conventional, even with top tier 800 credit scores, might still be higher than what that FHA rate is. Do you understand what I just said? Yes or no in chat? Because I don't want to move past that unless you understand what I'm saying. Yes or no in chat if you understand. Okay. No. All right. Let me repeat this. There's something called loan level pricing adjustments. This is on for all conventional mortgages. And the loan level pricing adjustment is basically the fee that Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac charges lenders to offer certain programs and products at certain LTVs, credit scores, et cetera, et cetera. So it's basically the LLPA is the margin that Fannie Mae is putting and building into the interest rate for the lenders to offer. Does that make more sense? So when I mean they're penalizing you for buying a two to four unit, that means it's going to be more expensive for you on the back end, making your rate interest rate, your mortgage interest rate, a little bit higher. FHA does not have these loan level pricing adjustments that penalizes you the same way conventional does because FHA is for, was geared towards low credit borrowers without, and it's a government insured program, right? So they don't penalize you as much. So with FHA, if you stacking it side by side, if all of you who answer the question, if you're looking to buy a multifamily to share three or four units, two to four units, whatever it was, you now can't just say, forget FHA, I'm going 100% conventional. No, you have to look at both of them side by side comparison. What is better? And interest rate wise, depending on your scenario, you might be better with FHA, but to get your deal secured and get your offer accepted, you might be, you might have to bite the bullet and go conventional to get it accepted. Do you understand? Yes or no? I want to make sure we clear here. And again, all this depends on the market where you're buying that. If it's a hot market, if things are on fire, if you got a lot of competition with the property, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of moving parts to this, and this is why I tell you you got to consult with your, your real estate professional that you choose to hire your realtor, your real estate broker. Whoever you choose to hire your team needs to be able to understand the market that you're looking to go out here and shop in and be able to advise you accordingly of which will help you get your offer accepted faster. Yes, you still need two years of W-2s 
for Fannie Mae. So guys, all right, let me be clear. Nothing else changes. We're only talking about your down payment requirements. So PMI doesn't change, change because of this. Your work history doesn't change because of this. No, let's, 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 let's take a deep breath and let's stay focused. Okay. So this is a huge update. Now this is going to help people get into houses. And like in the beginning of this um, thing, their message is to expand access to credit and provide support for affordable rental housing. That's key right there. That's key. That's a key line that y'all need to pay attention to. To expand access to credit and provide support for affordable rental housing. I like that. I like that. I like this a lot. So, if you're looking to get pre-approved, make sure when you're speaking to your loan officer, and first of all, if you're learning from me, you should be doing what? Working with me. Give me the opportunity to earn your business. Apply with MG.com. Let us help you get to the closing table. But also, if you're already working with a lender, let us give you a second opinion. Now, mind you, none of this goes into effect to November 18th. So if you apply on November 18th or after that date, then these new guidelines are for you. Now, what I also like about this is the home style renovation. So now if you find, you're finding something that needs some repairs, you can get 100% of basically of your rehab costs. Now, in the Mortgage Academy, we're going to have plenty of courses that's going to break down strategies and everything in a lot more detail with assessments and everything in the Mortgage Academy, right? So home style renovation will be a, a mini course that I will offer within the Mortgage Academy. And now that this is coming out, I'm going to definitely drop this course in November in the Mortgage Academy. All right. Now, there's something else I want to show you guys, right? Again, these are today's rates as of 10.5. Today's mortgage rates, you see it went down a little bit, right? 7.69. Now, I can tell you right now, if you're looking to take advantage of this, now, no one knows what the rates are going to be in November 18th, 20th, or whenever you apply for this. But if the rates are still showing something similar to what we're seeing right now, you better believe you're going to be in, in the mid eights for this rate, maybe 9%. So you better make sure the deal makes both cents and cents if you're going to take advantage of this. As you can see, this FHA, this FHA rate is low sevens, right? Ugh, what happened? You see this FHA rate is low sevens. So you wanna, you wanna pay attention, right? And this is what I'm just trying to show you. You can even, and now these rates right here is for single family homes, 20% down, et cetera. But you can see FHA rates are lower than conventional. So when you're talking multifamily, FHA, if this was today going into effect, this multifamily, Fannie Mae would definitely be probably mid 8% and FHA will be in the sevens. So this is why I was trying to tell you, you got to do a side-by-side -side comparison to see what is going to make sense for you. Does that make sense for you guys? Does that make sense? What the hell was that? Oh, shit. <laughs> you see, I'm still trying to learn that shit, all right? Um, so you got to make sure that that this makes sense, if you are going to take out this type of loan again, you need to make sure that you can afford it. Because these people want their money, rain, sleet, hell, snow. You got it? You got it. Now, here's something else I want to bring to your attention real quick, because there was a question earlier about this, loan limits. Let's talk about loan limits. VA, Adrian, VA loans has absolutely nothing to do with this. Now, it says this is for conforming rates. This is not for high balance. So 
high balance is this column right here. You see it says one family, 726. That's a conforming loan amount. Two family, the max loan amount will be 929,850. Three family, the max loan amount will be 1.123,900. Four family, 1396,800,000. Now, I'm pretty sure this is going to be more than enough money in a certain majority of the country to get this done. Now, if you're in New York, D.C., L.A., this not, might not be enough, depending on where you're buying, right? This is the high balance column, right? See, with a high balance loan, you can go all the way up to $2 million on the four family, $1.6 on the three family, $1.394 on the, on the two family or duplex, okay? So to get this 5% down, you cannot be in this high balance category. Your loan amount has to stay right here on this left hand side between two and four families between 929 and 1.396 million. Do you understand? Yes or no in chat? Yes or no in chat? And Tanisha is right. There ain't no set time when I go live. You just got to keep up with me, okay? <laughs> you just got to keep up. I'm sorry. This is not your traditional show. This is not your traditional podcast. I release it when I got time. And right now, I got time. So let's stay tapped in. Put your bell on for notifications. And if you can't watch it live, watch the replay or listen in to, or, on Apple, okay? So we all understand this. Good. When does 5% go down, not when MG go live? Okay, 5% November 18th. November 18th for multifamily. Okay, so we're all on the same page. Shout out to Miss Wendy. I see you in the comments. All right, so we're all on the same page. We all understand these new guidelines. And there were some other new guidelines that came out for self-employed as well. Maybe I'll talk about that tomorrow. Yep, I'll talk about that tomorrow. But we all, we all got this, okay? We all understand. Are we all on the same page here? Is this a positive change? All right, let me, let me um, take this off my screen. Is this a positive change? Hell yeah. This is definitely a positive change, right? Hell yeah. No. Is this for FHA? No, this is only for conventional Fannie Mae loans. This is not for FHA. Only for conventional Fannie Mae. Um, only for conventional Fannie Mae. Not, this is not for FHA. FHA is 3.5%. Realtors, can you see how this can help you sell more homes and help more people get to the closing table? Type yes or no in chat. So you basically went from a 15 to 25 percent down payment on a two to four family for a Fannie Mae loan to five percent down, and you can do a rehab loan with it as well, and potentially get 100 percent of your rehab costs. A lot of factors in that, but when you join the academy, you will learn about this stuff. All right. Okay, uh, Willie C, can I use this for a new multi-primary residence if I already own a single? Why are you moving out of your single to go to your multifamily? That's the question the underwriter is going to ask you. And nine times out of ten, there ain't no good reason. <laughs> nine times out of ten, ain't no good reason why you're moving out of your, your, your probably your nice single family to your... Multifamily, don't make sense. Of course, yes, you have to occupy the prop. This is only for primary residences. Guys, let me explain this to you. Let me go on a quick rant. Dream Team Home Studios, thank you for this comment. When you hear anything from a lender or a program and they saying 5% down, 3% down, that's not non-owner occupied. Let's be clear. This is for owner-occupied primary residences only. 
Let's be clear. Please. So, since it would be for a principal home, how long can I live there legally before I move out and have all my doors rented out? Currently, the guideline states you have to live in the house for at least one year. And after one year, you don't have to live there no more. Now, here's another great thing. Now, if you're able to, let's just say you go to the four family first and you use convention. Let's talk a little house hackonomics here. Let's update the strategy. Now, when we have this guidelines, here's the updated house hacking strategy for house hackonomics. If you don't use FHA for your four family, now you don't have to refinance out of the conventional. So you can go for a family, living it for a year or two, and I would probably advise living it longer because of tax benefits and stuff like that, but that's a whole different topic for a different day. And now when you want to move out of there and go to your three family, you can use conventional again because conventional doesn't have any limits on how many conventional loans you can take out. Well, it does. You can take up to 10 conventional loans. I'm sorry, my bad. You can take up to 10 conventional mortgages. So in the current house hacking strategy, if you go FHA first, you have to refinance out of the FHA. If you go for family, refinance out of the FHA into a conventional and then go into um, FHA for your three family. Now you could just go conventional, 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 conventional if you could qualify. Now, here's also a great thing for all of you who have house hacked in the past couple years. You're probably not going to want to refinance because your rates are probably 2 3% as we discussed on yesterday's show. But now, your LTV requirement for your refinance after November 18th to refinance out of the FHA is going to be a lot easier. Because now you can do a refinance and take out no cash out or limited cash out, which is no more than $2,000 back to you at closing and have a high LTV to get out of there where before you had to have 25 to 15 to 25% equity in the home. This is, 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 somebody just asked earlier, is there a benefit to this? Hell yeah. This is an absolute game changer. A game changer. This ain't about investment properties, okay? Let me put this on the screen. What about investment properties? 25% down, please. Thank you very much. And if you don't want to do that, you can do it in your LLC and maybe we can get you 20% depending on your experience. But if you want a true investment property and you want to invest, then you go ahead and you put your money up. And if you don't want to put that type of money up, then you're going to have to sacrifice and live into and live into these live in the multifamily for a couple years to put down the 5% and then move on to another property. This is giving you the opportunity. I don't think you guys really understand what the hell I'm saying to you right now. I really don't. This is giving you an opportunity to scale your portfolio. Over the next five to 10 years, this is, if these guidelines don't change, this is giving you the opportunity they're, look, bro, sis, whatever your names are, they told you in the damn in the damn announcement. Let me bring this back on screen. To expand access to credit and provide support for affordable rental housing. Do you see this line right here that I'm highlighting? Do I need to make this bigger? Pause. To expand access to credit and provide support for affordable rental housing. To expand access and provide support for affordable rental housing. Man. They're telling you, we want you to go buy multifamilies 
and buy them today. That's what they're saying. Shout out to my guy, Dre. He said, house hacking till I die. <laughs> Yo, Dre, you're a fool, son. <laughs> house hacking till I die. Look, I got over 300 people in here live with me right now. You need to take a commercial break and go hit the damn like button. Smash the like button if you got value from this episode for so, so far in the first 30 minutes. Please, there's not enough likes on here. Go ahead and smash the like button. Please and thank you. Okay? Please and thank you. Because this is a game changer. If you really understand what the hell is going on, this is a game changer. Like no other. This is what you guys need to be focused on. Fannie Mae has just opened up and ran the play for you. They're basically saying, we need people to have places to live. We need more affordable housing. They understand that affordability is a problem right now because of the interest rates being so high. So they're saying we need more people to continue to buy homes to keep this economy going. So we're going to make it easier for you to buy multifamily so you can supplement your mortgage payments or you who have done their job by having good credit, good jobs, discipline on saving, and going out here and buying real estate to supplement or live for free. They want you to cash flow. Throw a gem in the comment for Fannie Mae. <laughs> who the hell is in charge over there who thought of this? Who the hell is in charge who thought of this? Shout out to you. You're invited to the barbecue. Now, there's always one in the crowd. San Santedra Jackson, you said you, stay, you will stay away. Why? And if you are, if you don't want to be a landlord, and I started this from the very beginning, my disclaimer was, this is only for the folks who want to be a landlord. Now, maybe you, Santidra, I hope I pronounced your name right. Maybe you don't want to be a landlord, and that is A-OK. -okay. And, and, and if you're referring to staying away from multifamilies, because I don't know, I, I just saw that, right? But, hey, stay away. Stay away. Whoever doesn't want to be a landlord, please stay the hell away. <laughs> Don't you dare go near the multifamilies. Stick to the condos and townhouses and single family homes you are used to. Don't go chasing waterfalls, please, if you don't want to be a landlord. If you don't want to deal with tenants, property managers, people not paying their bills on time, please don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the condos and co-ops and townhouses and single families that you are used to. It is A-OK. -okay. As long as you are black and brown, I just want you to go buy some shit and go own some shit. Because it's different strokes for different folks. And I am not here to bash anyone or their decisions of what is comfortable for them. Oh, you talking about hard money loans? Well, stay away. <laughs> Again, stick to the FHA conventional VA loans that you are used to. Don't go chasing waterfalls with those hard money loans, baby girl. <laughs> Don't. Leave them for the people who want to be dealing with that type of poison. Okay? Because all of this is poison. Pick your poison. What works best for you? I'm not here to convince you otherwise or anything. My job is here to give you all the information as I get the information and show you how to, how to move in a room like a smooth criminal and go out here and get to it. Maybe smooth criminal was the wrong word to use right there, right? I'm here to show you how to move through the room, okay? Pick your poison, 
right? You can't build a house with just a hammer. You need multiple tools. Mortgages are tools to build wealth. Build wealth the way you feel you want to, okay? Okay? <sighs> TJ, he says, I'm happy because I was going to use a conventional soon for a multi. I don't want to refinance my FHA right now. Well, there you have it. And for those of you who have FHAs, two, three, four percent, now you don't got to refinance out of that to continue your house hack. This is a home run for everybody, yo. House hack your way to wealth. I'm going to make an updated version now. <laughs> Only available in the Mortgage Academy. Speaking of the Mortgage Academy, let me go there right, real quick. I'm going to put the link in the chat right now for you to join. And I had a change of heart overnight. I did some prayer and... And, it's, and I woke up this morning and I said, you know what? I'm going to make this the number one real estate educational platform in the world. Black Friday is coming. So I'm starting it right now. Go to fgmortgageacademy.com. Sale ends December 31st, 2023. Do not come to me on January 1st and say you want this price. I'm going to make this so affordable for those who really want to take their learning to another level. For those of you who want to have access to the private community and have access to my future, which I'm having a, a, web and, a, a masterclass on November 1st and 2nd. I'm announcing that probably Monday, right? You want to have access to that. You want to have access to all my previous recorded webinars and curriculums. You want to be part of the monthly group calls, which we're having a group call next week. You want discounts on my in-person classes that's coming back in January and my books and eBooks. I'm giving it to you for $100, $99 lifetime, one fee, one payment. You never have to pay again. Again, $99. That's it. Period. The end. Join or don't. It's on you. If you're already a member, then you good. You're already in there. For all my members, I already waived all the annuals. There's no more annuals for nobody. I'm not doing annuals. I ain't doing no monthly payments. I ain't doing none of that. I'm going to be in my academy weekly, giving game. I said, that says monthly group calls. I might go in that thing this month three, four times with information. And then on 11, 1, 11, 2, I got the master class coming. I'm going crazy. So for those of you who are already in there, we already had the live with y'all this week. I just spoke to y'all about this. But I'm giving y'all access to what I do because I'm going to put y'all in position to win. Better than anybody on this internet, in my opinion. So I'm giving it to you. I'm making it the most affordable thing out there. Now, if you already a member, you already paid your fee, so you're good. This is for only new members. This is not for existing members. Just be clear. This is only for ex new members, not existing. Your fee is your fee. Because most of y'all got consultation calls with me, and I dare sure I'll be speaking to all of y'all all the time. These folks ain't getting no consultation calls. Just understand that. Okay? So, join now. You got, you got the fourth quarter to join. Because after that, it's going back up. Link is in the chat. Lifetime like Maxwell. <laughs> Yo, that shit just got me choking right now. Like Maxwell. Lifetime. Lifetime. Yes. We teaching, teaching. Teaching, teaching for the low. for the low can you you're going to be a first-time buyer can you qualify to join the academy yeah pay you 100 bucks and if you want to really get busy and learn and know how to really move in this mortgage and real estate world you definitely need to join and can you qualify i don't know you got to get pre-approved joseph 
I have no clue. No clue at all. Rerun some of the info. Got on late. Absolutely not. It's not my fault you came late, Manuel. You're late to class. Are you going to come to a class and tell your teacher or professor, hey, professor, teacher, I came 45 minutes late to class, 40 minutes late to class. Uh, can you rerun some of that stuff you was teaching in the beginning? No. <laughs> You're going to have to wait for the replay, Emmanuel. Sorry. All right. I feel, I'm feeling good today. So I was going to, now for those of you who just came for that information, I'm done talking about this topic. So um, you probably can leave now if you don't want to hear what else I got to talk about. So this is what I was going to do today because somebody left a comment on my video yesterday and I forgot to screenshot this comment because I was just moving and shaking at Home Depot half the day. Right. But she left a comment and then I went back to find it before I came on live. And I noticed that she deleted the comment, I think. And I was really sad about that. Really sad about that. So I can't answer and respond to her the way I really wanted to because I was going to give her so much game. But it's not there no more. So with that being said, I feel like taking some questions before we end today's episode of Rants and Gems. And I make sure you guys download Rants and Gems on all podcast audio outlets and leave us a five-star review, share it with 10 people, and make sure you hit your notifications, your bells, or whatever notifications, because I'm just dropping content. I, this ain't your typical show. I, I don't have a set schedule. I know that might not be typical, but I don't care. I'm doing it the way I want to do it, and whenever I feel like I got breaking news this morning, I said I'm coming live. I wasn't planning on coming live today. I said I'm going to come live. So this is where I'm at with it. So I might come live tomorrow. We got, we got some self-employed changes, too. Fannie Mae making some changes. We're going to talk about that tomorrow, too. And I may not come on at 5. I may come on at 1 or 2. Who knows, right? The bottom line is my goal is to be the number one source for real estate education. Whether you're watching me here or listening to me on Rants and Gems or you're part of my mortgage academy, my folks in the academy, I'm getting you mortgage ready. I'm giving you all the information. 25 courses coming out. For those of you who support the books and the ebooks, I got 25 ebooks coming out on Black Friday, separate charge of the Academy. But this is why I made the price right now for a limited time only for all new subscribers to the Mortgage Academy, only $99 one time fee. Because I want to get thousands and thousands and thousands of people in here because I'm going to get y'all all mortgage ready. So that way you can go out here and buy real estate at scale, know exactly what the hell you're doing. And we're going to be the number one community for home buyers, investors, and real estate professionals. If you're a real estate professional and you want that training, that coaching, that mentorship, it's only $99. Come in there. I got, I'm gonna have information for y'all to show y'all how to run, your, run it up, how to make more money. So the Academy is for home buyers, investors, and real estate professionals. Please come on, come on. All right, now I wanna take some questions. Let's get some questions in the chat. Or who wants to come on live? Who got something? Who got something good they want to talk about? Where that? Where, where, where homeboy high tap hap at? Yesterday he was talking like some good stuff, right? Um, hold on. So I want. I want. I want to see. Um. I want to get him on live, but let's see. What is this? My God. What the hell is this for? Hold on, y'all. I just got a charge. Okay. <clears throat> come on, come on. Who wants to come live? Yes, we can do hard money. Yeah, 
Yes, I'm still exercising. I'm actually, I was supposed to go work out tonight, but I got to go pick up my daughter. So I'm working out tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm, I'm, I'm averaging like three to five days a week right now. Inconsistently, to keep it real. Inconsistently. But trying to keep it consistent, right? But I'm still working out. No, I don't want to talk about NACA. Who wants to come on live? Who got something good to say? If not, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Matter of fact, let me see. I don't want to talk about NACA. If Dre wants to come on, he could talk about NACA. Matter of fact, where's Dre? Let me get this thing for y'all. Okay. Okay, let me put this link. So I'm going to put the link to join live. Anybody wants to join live, I just put the link. Come with your question. Have good lighting, good camera, some AirPods on, and turn your YouTube down when you come on so there's no, no, no echo or nothing like that. And come online. Let's go. Can you buy a four unit with FHA after buying with conventional? Yes, if that is, but what type of property did you buy with conventional? Number one, did you buy a single family? Then you're talking about you want to buy a four unit? Probably not going to happen. But I need more information than that. That's too, 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 you're going to get me set up for failure. Are you able to use FHA 100, with 100 mile rule if you work remotely? Yes, if the new property is gonna be your primary residence and you can show proof that you can work remotely in the state or wherever you're going, yes. Am I able to beat 9% on hard money loans? I don't know the deal to tell you that, so I, I can't answer that question. Give me more information. Can I talk more about Section 8 investment? Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking me. Are you asking about Section 8 for your investment properties? And we have a whole curriculum getting drawn up for that in the academy too. So if you want to know deep details about that, I suggest you join the academy. Is Charlotte a good area to Invest a four-unit new construction loan, VA home loan. I don't know. What part of Charlotte? What's the numbers looking like? I, every, Charlotte's a great area, of course, right? It's, it's The prices are moving out there. It's a beautiful city. But I don't know the deal. We like What's the deal? What are the numbers? That's all I, I care about. I don't care if it's in Montana. What are the numbers? What's the deal looking like? What about 1099 as commission-based earners? Our income varies month to month. Well, in the academy, I'm gonna have a whole income calculation course with calculators and everything like that that's coming in. So if you are 1099 on commission-based bonus and everything like that, you'll know exactly how if you're going for traditional financing, FHA, conventional VA loans, you'll know exactly how underwriters gonna calculate your income. And you'll know based off of that how you need to file your taxes appropriately. So join the academy. One time fee, $99. Get it while it's hot. Exactly. Look, all these questions y'all asking me, I'm trying to tell you. Just join the goddamn academy. <laughs> <laughs> How do you compute the numbers on a property to know you're getting a good deal? <laughs> you got to invest in your education to know what is going on. Sierra Wells? You got, you got to join. We have income analyzing things already in. We, I did a whole 10-week curriculum. Where were you, Sierra Wells? We did a whole real estate investing 10-week curriculum. I think that thing started May. We went three months every Tuesday, 7 to like 10 p.m. That's a part of the academy you join for only $99. You need to join. I'm just trying to tell you.
I'm just trying to tell you. I'm not even lying to you. The people, my people are here. They'll tell you. Make sure you hit that like button, too. Make sure you hit that like button. That was got to be, look, superior, imagine. Ten-week class was amazing. That ten-week class, I ain't going to hold you up. Charge $3,000 for that class alone. You're talking about 10 weeks, and it actually went 11 weeks. 10 weeks, three hours, three, three hours minimum every Tuesday? I might get back to that, no, honestly. Would you consider getting a HELOC if you locked in at 2.5% already to use for another scale up? Yes. But I will look at, look, and this is what I'll tell you. Your first mortgage is your first mortgage. A HELOC is a second mortgage. So if you're going to take out a HELOC on your primary residence, you better know exactly what the hell you're doing. You better have an exit strategy. You better not be out here taking money out of the, I like to call it the church, right? Because your church is your primary. You got to protect it at all costs. So like, yeah, yo, you better not be taking money out of your out of your properties if you don't know what the hell you're doing. And this is why I'm offering high-level education for free, basically, in the academy to teach people like you to learn what the hell you're doing because a lot of y'all don't know what the hell y'all doing. And y'all sit out here, and not for nothing, y'all go sit out here and pay five, ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 for shit and still don't know what the hell you're doing. And then you come to my stuff, don't know what the hell y'all doing. So you need to invest into your education, take it seriously, especially those of you who are homeowners with equity, invest in some good education, learn as much as you can, and then go out here and go. Because experience is always going to be your best teacher, for sure. But you need to go out here and take the time to learn and study. I know life lives, but you got to go out here and study too. Shout out to Ebony Watson. She was in a 10-week curriculum, and she said, sure did. Outstanding class, though. That's a fact. If you was part of that 10-week curriculum, throw some fire in the chat for that. That guy, yep, you got to go to the beginning. The first 40 minutes. The first 40 minutes, we're speaking about that. The first 40 minutes. All right. Um... Queen B said it was a dope curriculum. It sure was. Sorry. Okay. All righty. What time is it? Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys for joining today. This was a good class. I'm not going to keep this longer. I answered a bunch of questions. Uh, shout out to the architect of beauty. Uh, she was in the class. I'm hoping she was in the class because she's throwing fires in the chat. I think she was in the class too. Um, but if you're not, join the academy and you can watch it. TJ said, that's my exact situation. I took out a HELOC now. I'm scared on how to move. I need to join. Well, you need to go to join. MGMortgageAcademy.com. Like, we got a class next week. We're going to talk some ish next week. Like, join. Learn. Don't be scared of nothing. Right? Don't be scared of anything. Learn. You just need to learn. Take the time out to learn. It's only so much you're going to get from YouTube University and Google. You got to learn, man. Again, Jennifer, you got to learn. To get a HELOC, does your income need to be a certain amount? You got to learn DTI. You got to learn how incomes view, how, how lenders view your income. You got to learn. So, yes, your income has to be a certain amount depending on your DTI, of course. It all depends on your DTI. 
That I can't tell you what the income needs to be because I don't know your full financial situation. Can you buy, Shannon says, can you buy two multifamily and one deal or they have to be separate? You can buy, so this is a good question, Shannon. It's a very loaded one because there's many different answers to this. So yes, can you buy two, two multifamilies on one deal? So I'm thinking you're saying, can you buy two properties, one loan? Absolutely. It's called the blanket mortgage. Of course, it will be out in the academy about blanket mortgages. Um, can you buy two multifamilies at the same time? Absolutely. You can do one as a primary, one as an investment, or you can do both as an investment as long as you qualify and you have the capital to close. So yeah, anything can happen. Look, money solves all problems in my world. If you have money, you have credit, and you have capacity, you can do whatever the hell you want. It's that simple. Smash the like button for me, please. Thank you very much. And make sure you guys take the time, like I said, right now, if you've been to any of my webinars, if you've been to any of my in-person classes, if you've been to anything that I'm a part of, you know how I give it up. Yep, money, credit, capacity, exactly. Join the Academy. I'm telling you, this offer will expire on December 31st of this year, and it will not come back again for this price. I am sorry. So for all new members of the Academy, you want to join, the link will be in the description and it's in this live chat. I highly advise you to take advantage of this while I'm feeling this nice and generous. Because for what you're going to spend on fast food this weekend, shout out to Real Estate Jane Bradley. And this is for homeowners, investors, and real estate professionals. Jane Bradley, welcome to my world. You're going to learn today. You're going to learn. All right. <clears throat> Can you use household income to buy a multifamily for primary? If they're going to be on a loan, absolutely. If they're not going to be on a loan, no. You cannot. Am I having anything in Los Angeles? Uh, probably sometime next year. Absolutely. I need to come back to L.A. soon. But this year, no. I'm staying inside this year. I'm excited to help you buy, Marjorie. Email us, garland, garland group at unmb.com or apply with mg.com. We would love to help you. How long do you keep the course for? So the 25 courses are going to start being released in uh, November of this year. We're gonna, I'm going to stagger four or five courses every single month. Um, right now, there's a probably like six or seven webinars that you get immediate access to in the community, and you get lifetime access. As long as I'm in the academy, you get lifetime access <clears throat> for one price. So if you, so come one, come all. We would love to have you there. Our classes be fun, entertaining, and they last for anywhere from ninety minutes to three hours. And the courses will be anywhere from an hour to three hours, too. The, 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 the live classes will be anywhere from an hour and a half to three hours, just depending on what we're talking about. Should I cash out my three family on a 25, 2.5% rate to purchase a four family? What, hell no. What you should do, Edson, is I would do, I would leave that 2.5% first mortgage alone, and I would take out a line of credit, a, a HELOC, and use the HELOC to purchase the four family. But I wouldn't touch that first mortgage. Yo, Superior Imaging, tell them. I don't think they understand. My playlist is undefeated. The DJ sets in the beginning of classes are underrated. <laughs> That's a fact. Because we be rocking coming. Coming into my joint, you, I'm telling you, you're going to have a good time. 
Link is in the chat right now. YS. Yo, sexy. Shout out to CT, CT Smith. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. All right. So we've been on here for about an hour now. Again, yep, an hour on the dot. So make sure you guys go to mgmortgageacademy.com if you want to join the academy. Also, I want you guys to um, download Rants and Gems on all podcast audio outlets. This audio, out, this audio of today's show will be out there tomorrow at some point. Um, yesterday's audio is going to be released tonight on on audio. Um, again, go to mgbookstore.com. Uh, let me get the board. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. You know, I got to do that. Go to mgbookstore.com. Pick up the books, man. House Hackonomics, which I'm going to have to update some stuff on this. And then do the Real Estate Investors Manifesto. I might have to do a whole ebook to now update the 4321 House Hackonomics strategy for this one now that we got guideline changes. And I'm going to do a whole mini course for this book too. I'm going to do a mini course for this one too. There's a lot of mini courses coming out and mini ebooks and all types of different things that's coming out. So make sure you guys tap in with mgbookstore.com and pull up, again, home buyers, investors, real estate professionals, lock in. I'm going to have a lot of content for real estate professionals too, realtors, loan officers, uh, classes that are dedicated to that group and segment of folks. Um, I want to teach you guys what I know and how to build your business and your brand and, and scale and grow. So again, join the academy. Join the academy. Uh, Greg M says, MG, what happened to the new house? Any updates? I seen you post the contractor trying to steal materials. Well, it's slow motion, but motion. I got a lot of things going on with Garland Gardens. Uh, it's motion happening, but it's a little bit slow right now. And again, my, my, my journey with building this house has been a journey. And it's a lot going on with it. So in the academy, I'll probably speak more about construction and building the house. I'm, I'm going to come out with a checklist. I got checklists. I, I'm trying to tell you. mgbookstore.com with all my ebooks and, and, and checklists and workbooks and all that will be sold there. That's all separate of the academy. But I'm just going to do so much, so many different things to educate you guys, whether you like courses, whether you like the live webinar format, or whether you like to read with ebooks. I'm just giving it to you always. And then Yesterday, I said I would commit to do a few audio books. So I'm going to do a few audio books as well. Um, Edson said, I tried to get a HELOC, but they denied me because it was a three family. Go to a different bank. And before you apply, ask them, do they lend on multifamilies? Not, every, not all of them will lend HELOCs on multifamilies. Uh, if I had gotten my mortgage paid off while in a HELOC, can they still take my house if I default on a HELOC payment. Yep, they can foreclose on you. Don't default, Jennifer. Don't default. And again, there's a lot about a HELOC. Um, I'm probably going to do a whole HELOC mini thing and an ebook to go with it to kind of break down HELOC from A to Z. Um, I know we speak about, a lot about HELOCs um, on this channel, especially right now with rates being low. But, you know, we're going we're gonna to really teach y'all. It's good to know because I want to know the proper way of getting a contractor. Yep, join the academy. We're going to be talking about it. Because there's a lot that goes into dealing with rehabs and construction that I'm going to have a lot of focus on that in my academy. All right, so hopefully I see you guys in the academy. Um, next week we're going to have a class. Um there so hopefully i'll see you guys there uh but other than that i'm about to get the hell out of here i love y'all thank y'all for showing up today first 40 minutes we spoke about the subject matter at hand go use it and keep it going all right matt garland here nmls number 58700 the better known as mg the mortgage guy Peace. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm going to go live. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Smash that like button. Share this with 10 people. Peace.